This video demonstrates the step-by-step -step procedure to convert natural gas to propane gas for ranges and cooktops with four to six burners. The pressure regulator and the burner orifices that come with the product are set for natural gas by default. To use propane gas, you need to replace the surface burner and oven burner orifices and convert the regulator. Note the propane orifices are shipped with the product and can be located at the back of the range. The tools required for a propane gas conversion are shown on the screen. Typically, propane orifices for the cooktop burners are shipped on the back of the range. Convert the range for use with propane gas to begin. Disconnect all the electrical power at the main circuit breaker or fuse box. Close the manual shutoff valve to shut off the gas supply to the range. To convert the regulator for range models that have oven, use an adjustable wrench to unscrew the hex nut cap from the pressure regulator. Remove the entire protective plastic cap off the threaded metal cap. Turn the metal cap so the type of gas being converted to is displayed. Replace the protective plastic cover. And finally, screw the hex nut cap back into the regulator. Do not over tighten the cap. To convert the regulator for cooktops, use a large flat blade screwdriver to remove the cap from the pressure regulator. Turn the brass cap over for the propane gas and reinstall into the regulator. To convert the cooktop burners, remove the top grates, burner caps, and burner heads. Using a 7mm or 9 inch nut driver for the dual flame stack burner, or a 7mm or 9 inch open end wrench only for the multi ring to remove the top burner orifices. The multi ring orifice is accessed by removing the orifice cover using a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the natural gas orifices using 7mm or 9 inch open end wrench. Repeat for another orifice. Remove the natural gas orifice using 7mm or 9 inch nut driver and save these for a future conversion back to natural gas. Remove the propane orifices from the bag provided. Select the proper orifice size for your gas and burner from the conversion chart. Install the propane orifices in their correct locations. Refer to the conversion instructions document provided with the orifices for more details. Using the 7 mm or 9 by 30 seconds inch nut driver or socket, Hand tighten the orifice spuds securely into the gas supply tubes. Orifice cover must be reinstalled. Put the old orifice spuds into the bag along with the instructions and replace under the back of the range for possible future conversion. To convert griddle orifice, lift off the griddle flue cover and remove the two inside clamping screws. Lift out the cast iron grease trough. Remove by sliding the griddle towards the rear and out of the hold down tabs along the bottom. Remove the four screws on the capillary bracket and set the bracket and the capillary aside. Remove the two hold down screws at the rear of the burner. Pull the burner straight back toward the rear and out of the gas inlet. Locate the three-quarter of an inch long griddle orifice. Use a half-inch deep weld socket to remove the orifice. Select the proper orifice size for your gas and burner from the conversion chart. Replace the propane orifice. Reverse these steps to reassemble the griddle. Push access capillary back into the entry hole and place the unused orifice into the holder for possible future use. To convert main bake burner orifice, remove the oven door and set aside in a safe location. Remove the two oven bottom hold down screws from the rear of the cover. Slide the oven bottom forward and set aside. Remove the burner screw. Lift the front of the burner upwards slightly and slide forward setting aside. Be careful not to damage the igniter. 
Locate the three quarter of an inch long big burner orifice. Use a half inch deep weld socket to remove the orifice. Select the proper orifice size for your gas and burner from the conversion chart. Replace the propane orifice by using half inch deep well socket. To adjust air shutter settings for oven burners, loosen the screws using a Phillips head screwdriver to secure the air shutter on the bake burner. Adjust the shutter setting per the chart in the conversion instructions document. Replace spreader within the four bracket tabs and place the unused orifice in the holder for possible future use. Repeat for a left bake burner orifice. To convert broil burner orifice, remove the four electric element screws. Pull the electric elements out until the terminals reach the hole. Do not disconnect the terminals. Carefully lower the front edge of the element to the oven floor. Remove the four spreader screws. Remove the burner screw and then carefully set the broil system aside. Be careful not to damage the igniter. Locate the broil burner orifice. Use half inch socket wrench to loosen the broil orifice. Select the proper orifice size for your gas and burner from the conversion chart. Replace the propane orifice by using half inch deep well socket. To adjust air shutter settings for oven burners, loosen the screws using a Phillips head screwdriver to secure the air shutter on the bake burner. Adjust the shutter setting per the chart in the conversion instructions document. Reverse steps to reassemble the broil burner and the electric element. Place the unused orifice in the holder for possible future use. Repeat for a left broil burner orifice. Reinstall the oven door. Turn on the gas and then turn on the electricity. To check the surface burners, push and turn it off to the light position. A clicking sound indicates proper operation of the ignition system. Sparks will appear at all burners, but the gas flows within four seconds from the one you selected. You can determine the quality of flames visually. Normal burner flames may look like soft blue flames for natural gas, or with yellow tips on outer cones for propane gas. Long, bright yellow flames are not normal. Normal flames may show signs of an orange tint when well heated, or signs of flickering orange due to particles in the gas. After the burner is lit, rotate the knob out of the light position. Try each burner in succession to check all burners. To adjust the flames, refer to the conversion instructions document to inspect the flame appearance. Turn on all surface burners to medium setting. The flame should look like soft blue flames. Yellow tips on the cone is normal for LP gas. Long bright yellow flames are not normal and must be adjusted. For multi-ring burners, outer ring and inner ring, rotate the knob to the medium setting. Remove the knob and then insert a small flat blade screwdriver into the valve shaft and turn clockwise to tighten down the bypass set screw. Hold down the outer shaft while turning inner screw. The outer ring flame should be adjusted so that they barely curl over the top edge of the burner cap. If the flame appears too low or unstable, slowly turn the bypass screw counterclockwise until a stable flame exists for each burner. Replace and rotate the knob to the low setting. Remove the knob and the right side bezel screw. The inner ring flame should be adjusted by inserting a small flat blade screwdriver into the bezel screw hole and turning clockwise to tighten down the bypass set screw with the knob at the low setting. Locate the screw through the hole with a flashlight if necessary. If the flame appears too low or unstable, slowly turn the bypass screw counterclockwise until a stable flame exists for each burner. Ensure the low flame is contacting the igniter and the burner head is grounded properly or the spark module will continue to attempt to reignite the flame. Reinstall the right side bezel screw do not over tighten. Replace the knob. This video is complete. Refer to the installation manual to view the detailed instructions.